What is going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to Gold Rush. Today we're going to be doing digging. Lots and lots of digging and uh, I just wanted to come back up here. I, I kind of like introducing up high so you can actually see what I've done off recording. But uh, yeah, we've moved over the Frankenstein once again and we've invaded our old uh, gold claim site and now we're kind of moving leftward and hopefully one day we'll make it all the way down here. Obviously, the goal right now is to hit these next claims, uh, pick up the gold that I didn't pick up, uh, and of course, work on... Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try and hit these things, pick up any gold that I missed, and also, like I said, go up to the mountain here, because past that mountain is where the good gold truly is. Problem is, I've maxed out my Frankenstein right now, so I've been kind of focusing on going this way, uh, just because we only have one Frankenstein. When we get two Frankensteins, uh, we can connect them together and easily start mining out this stuff, uh, and behind this is where the r good gold truly is, but I need another million bucks to buy another Frankenstein, so hopefully we can get closer to that today, because uh, we're just going to do a simple gold mining episode. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, uh, I tend to focus on the upgrades more than the actual gold mining itself when it comes to Gold Rush. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be doing some- oh, I forgot to clean that out. Okay, I guess I should probably do that, uh, because we're going to be doing a clean out here. I actually have two clean outs going on, and, uh, it should be some pretty good pay, I think? But yeah, we always gotta start off with a gold clean out. Uh, I think pretty much every episode I do that now, just because it's always fun to see some gold. Uh, so why not start off strong? Also, we need some money really badly, as you can see. Uh, I'm at $2,000, so I basically have to go uh, earn some money today. Because once again, I know I always mention it, uh, we have that loan that I have to pay for. And if we do go into the red, I can't even make gold bars. And obviously, I lose a lot of money if we just sell the gold straight. We should have a lot of gold here. I actually, as you can see, I got 770 grams of gold. That was actually from one gold nugget, uh, which is a great sign that we're into some good ground here, which makes sense because I'm into my old uh, claim now, or my old uh, hole that I was digging in. So yeah, I'm hoping that uh, we get some better yields. Lately, it's been pretty bad yields for the gold, but uh, that's something I knew because I was trying to, you know, basically dig out that giant mountain of nothingness. Today, it should be a little more lucrative, and I did want to show you guys something. So yeah, we got lots of uh, buckets here to clean out, but I'm not crazy. I know I always mention that you can actually see how good the moss mats are. This was not so good of ground, and if you look over here, I mean, look at this, look at this thing. You can see the gold nuggets in it compared to these ones, which are pretty damn dry. So I'm not crazy. There is actually like visual re representation of how good y your dirt is just in the moss mats alone. So I'm excited about this one. Not so excited about this one because I don't think there's too much gold in those moss mats. Uh, but yeah, we should have a pretty good payday. I'm hoping for like 3,000 grams would be great. Um, if we get anywhere near that, I'll be pretty happy and at least we'll have some money in the bank. All right, so we're going to turn on our gold cleaning. We also have the big water pump on. Problem is... I can't fill this thing, man. We're getting so close to it being filled, but unfortunately, being that it is midsummer right now, uh, we're drying out our water claim, so every now and then it fills in again, so I just keep it on all the time, and hopefully we can actually fill that water tank soon. Uh, that way, when it does get cold and it starts freezing, we at least have some water to use, because I actually do use water pretty damn quickly. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we have the pump over here for this one. I'm, I'm so glad I cleaned in the last episode, because uh, dealing with the amount of crap that was over here was kind of annoying. Now we're nice and clean. It should be good. All right, got some gas right here. And yeah, it's just easier to uh, deal with a, a, a gold site when it's much more clean. All right, so let's, uh, I guess, first of all, do these millions of moss mats. This is going to be fun. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, three crates worth of moss mats. That's absolutely great. I think this is the first time we've almost used all of our buckets as well. So this is probably our biggest clean out. I don't think we've done... 100% of two. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it and uh, get to the fun part. So I don't even know which buckets which is it anymore. So we're just gonna throw everything in here. Hopefully we get a lot, a lot, a lot of magnetite today too, because I'd like to uh, go exchange that in for maybe some upgrades as well. Uh, yeah, we'll see how good this is. I think it's a mixture of good and bad. Honestly, I think I had one really good run and then one bad run because I was focused more on the hill again. Uh, we'll see what happens. That's not much magnetite, so that tells me this is probably a pretty bad load here. And what's the damage on the cleanup? 108, so that's actually not bad. That's obviously a planter bucket, a.k.a. a duplex jig bucket. Uh, that could just be because the planters are more efficient. 
Uh, but compared to a duplex jig, like a good duplex jig was about 108. So hopefully we have some good gold here. I don't know. It's hard to tell because we've upgraded our system now. Well, I'm really hoping those moss mats, I think the buckets in the back are the moss mats. Uh, I'm hoping they'll pay good because this is going real slow. I'm not sure what this bucket would be. I'm assuming maybe may the top grate. We'll see how much we get at the end here. 15, 1600 right now. Not awful, but nothing, nothing amazing either. Yeah, 325 grams, which really isn't that much. So maybe we weren't on as good of dirt as I hoped. All right, hopefully this bucket gets us to the big two. It's looking like... This one's getting a good yield. We just up 28 grams and one, so we're getting near the end. I'm not sure which is which. I think this is probably a planter bucket. We're over the two. We might actually hit the three here. Wow, we are way over the two. That just rocketed it up. Uh, 358. I thought it was a bit more than that, honestly, but at the end there, that was a huge jump. So we might actually get the three, or it's going to be close at least. Um, am I doing everything? Yeah, okay. Uh, 1458. So yeah, this is another planter bucket. So this will be about 100 grams. All right, don't fail me. We're at 2-3. If we can get 300 in this, I think we might actually get it here. It's looking pretty good. It's going up at a decent speed. Definitely not our best yields, uh, that's for sure. But uh, you can't expect that when we were actually pinpointing the gold at the start of this claim site. Now we're kind of in the bad dirt. But we're still making it work, man. And we're getting a lot of gold in the bank right now. Come on, get the 1,600. What do we got left in there? 2%. Well, we got the 1,600. Or, sorry, 2,600. Uh, what do we get there? 314 Gs again, man. We can't get out of the 300s. All right, here's the final bucket. Is it done? Yes, it is. Just wanted to make sure. We got 21% magnetite, though, so quite a bit of magnetite in that. Let's throw that in there. Throw our magnetite in the magnetite separator as I watch this thing go up. Uh, I think we might hit the three. That's what I wanted. And I think that's what we're going to get. All right, there we go. We got the 3,000, so... I can't complain. I knew we weren't in amazing dirt, but I thought we were in a little bit better than this. There we go, 524 for the final bucket. That's not bad at all. All right, so that's a decent payday. Let's shut everything off besides the pump so we can hopefully pump the water tower full and uh, go see our buddy, the blacksmith. I guess, how much magnetite's in here? 5%? I guess we could drop that off too. Maybe we can get an upgrade. I think we're close to one. All right, always the funnest thing to do because I rarely get to do this and it only lasts a second, but there we go. There's a little bit of that black gold and it's gone. Okay, we're done. <laughs> uh, how much do we get? Oh, we're at 100,000, so we can definitely get, a, get an upgrade. All right, see, that's why it's worth it. It seems like it's so little, but you actually have a lot in this big thing. I don't know why they made it so big. I'm never going to be able to fill this. All right, so I've been focusing on the smelting cost and gold loss. Oh, that made a rhyme. That's nice. But uh, obviously, these are way too expensive now, so it probably makes sense to focus on time now because I do sit here for a long time, and time is money in this game. So we're going to uh, upgrade the smelting amount with the 50,000, and then we can upgrade the time as well. And uh, can we do another one maybe? No, we definitely can't. How much do I... Where does it say how much I have? Okay, 1,800 right there. Uh, so yeah, definitely don't have enough for the next... Damn. It goes up so high so quickly. Uh, but yeah, at least we got two upgrades there, and it should make this a little bit faster. How much can we smelt now? Uh, whoa. I should have done that upgrade much quicker. I was doing 500 gram bars. Now it looks like I can... I can't, I can't believe how aggressive that upgrade is. Now I don't even have enough money to make my biggest bar. So we're going to make a 1,600 gram bar. Uh, damn, I can't believe. I thought it'd be kind of small like the other upgrades where you get about a 10% better yield. No. Man, I really should have did that earlier. That, this would have saved so much time. All right, that's going to probably take a while because it's such a big bar. Uh, I don't have really anything to do though. So I'm just, just going to go for a walk into the wilderness. Wouldn't it be great if there was, like, a random bear attack or something back there? Ah, uh, I, I wish. Okay, let's see. Is there a trail? What? Are you telling me not to go to Haynes? Is that what you're saying here? Travel beyond this point not recommended. All right, well, we got to sell our gold bar to get some money so we can smelt the rest of our gold. Let's see. What is the stock looking like right now? Again, kind of stays average. What are we at for, like, the year? Ooh, you can actually see... It might make sense to, if you had enough money, it might make sense to sell during prime time of the year because there is a clear prime time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to sell that gold bar, 66 grand, and at least we got some money in the bank again, and we still got about probably 60 grand worth of gold as well. And yes, it's assumed, 63 grand, so uh, a lot of work for 120 grand, but that's a lot of money too. 
problem is I need a lot of money to get to the next tier of upgrades. I think the next thing I'm probably going to buy is probably the second Frankenstein. I'm pretty happy with the tier 4. I think we'll wait till we move to the next claim for tier 5, or at least do it at the end of this claim. Uh, because I really want to appreciate the tier 4 for a little bit, and I really do need a, a, another Frankenstein just for speed's sake. But yeah, we got some money now. We don't have to worry about our aggressive loan, and uh, we can uh, focus on some more mining. So that's exactly what we're going to do for the rest of this video. Let's get back to the claim, and I think we're going to be on some good gold here. I'm going to probably mine through all of our other uh, area that we mined already, and we have a lot of that good gold ground that was deep down below that I wasn't able to pick up with the excavator. Now that we have the front end loader, we can pick up everything. We're going to get all those little bits, and hopefully it's going to be a really good cleanup. Oh, crap. So I've been, uh, this one planter auto-regens the moss mats, and I forgot to grab these ones. These ones are actually already dirty, so that's just going to be an extra yield for our uh, next cleanout. But yeah, for some reason, I can't put them on this mat. I'm wondering if an employee can only do one of them. So I might need to hire another employee to do that one. Uh, but yeah, I have been auto-changing this one. It's been going well. I also tried to auto-change the buckets. They're still not working. So people always say I should auto-change the buckets. It just doesn't work for me for some reason. All right, but we're all set up once again, ready to go. Now, I was going to repair the conveyor belt because it broke. That's actually why I stopped mining. But it looks like the mechanic's already on it. So I'm going to test it. We'll see if the mechanic can outbeat... Uh, the degradation of this thing. I think it was probably a bucket that broke once again. Uh, so yeah, we should have... We actually got a bunch of dirt in here. I don't think we have any dirt in our Frankenstein right now. Uh, but this is what I was talking about. I want to actually start going in here. This was all really good ground that I couldn't... You can actually see. I don't know if those are gold nuggets for sure, but it looks like there's some gold in the ground. Uh, this was all really good ground, though, and we should be able to pick up the majority of this. Uh, and it should be pretty quick because it's so shallow. And I'm thinking this should be a really good payday. So I'm hoping that's the case. We'll see what happens. But that's the ground we're going to target. Uh, and then, like I said, once we get to the next Frankenstein, we'll go deeper down and try and get over this mountain here. Uh, but yeah, we, we may as well grab this if we can. And let's do that now. So actually, we can just start right now. We may as well just fill this up first before we turn anything else on. And yeah, back to work we go. Oh, don't tempt me like that. Frankenstein available at a 20% discount? You asses. I wish I had some money right now. That's a... I mean, for a million dollar piece of machinery, that's a huge discount. Uh, and obviously, that's the next thing I want, too. So wait, 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 wait to tempt me, game. I appreciate it. Remember when this was a little hole, though? I mean, look, my light's not even reaching us anymore. I'm gonna have to move that thing. Uh, we have moved a lot of dirt in this game. An absolutely ridiculous amount of dirt. All right, so I'm really hoping this is some good, good dirt because uh, it's been it's been a few dry episodes now. We definitely need a good yield here, man, uh, just for entertainment's sake. Okay, we should be good. Did the water hole start filling up again? No, it looks like it dried out again, unfortunately. It, it dries out at least twice a day at this point. All right, so we're going to turn everything on, turn on the water quick. That way we're not wasting anything. And just as a final check, I always like to check now because I've screwed up a couple times. Just want to make sure everything's looking good and it is flowing. I guess I didn't show you guys the planter either. Um, not, not, not nothing too interesting to watch. Obviously, it flows out the sides. I'm not really sure what I'm not really sure what kind of magic goes on in here, but it does get better yields. I'll tell you that much because we didn't have that good of dirt and we were getting about as good as a really good payday with the duplex jig. Uh, just with that. Oh, hey, look, the water source filled. So I guess we'll start earning some uh, water as well. Well, mission accomplished. I wanted to get all that dirt the excavator mixed in this hole, missed in this hole, sorry. Uh, and as you can see, we're back pretty much near the walls of the other mine. So we got all that dirt off the ground. I'm hoping that's really good pay gold dirt. We should almost be done too here. So I'm going to do one more bucket worth. And, oh, Jesus, did I miss it again? Okay, I swear I'm not this bad when I'm not commentating. I'm actually pretty damn good with the... Uh, front end loader now, but every time I start talking, I can't focus on the digging. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We're officially done. I'm hoping that's all we need. Let's go check out the situation here. Still got a little bit in the uh, conveyor belt area. And what are we looking at over here? Oh yeah, 98%. We're almost full right now, so we're going to shut it off. Right when we hit the big hundred, I want this to, uh, yeah, I want them to switch the moss mats so I don't have to do that. And there we go. All right, now the fun part of disassembling everything so we get all this dirt out of here. It shouldn't be too bad, but I do have a little bit of a mess here, as you can see. The problem is 
I have so many moss mats and everything now because I'm trying to do more than one run at a time. Uh, let's look at the moss mats. That's actually looking pretty good. Ah, uh, these ones not so much. We got a... Ooh, okay. Damn it. Let me buy. I don't like these new planters. I can't walk through here easily. And I fall through that hole all the time. But yeah, look at this bottom one. This bottom one, compared to the others, is absolutely ridiculous. So... I gotta say, that's not looking very good. Those are pretty dry mats. Um, well, fingers crossed. This looks really good. I was hoping they'd all look like that, though. And I gotta say, these mats down here, they rarely look this dirty, so I don't know why. And that's kind of a bad sign, though. If it's getting all the way to the end of my system, these should be the cleanest things, because uh, it's just supposed to pick up any uh, gold that gets by. I'm kind of worried that it's getting through my system somehow all the way to the end. Uh, but yeah, these should be really rich with gold. All right, and cleaning the final few mats. Now, we got uh, a little over a bucket, so that's a good sign. There's been times when I've done a whole clean-out and not even got a bucket worth from the uh, moss mats. We're sitting at 28%, looking like we'll get about 30% out of this. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So 130% from the moss mats. Now, time for the fun part. Uh, now, I was hoping to get 1,500, but now that I think about it, I totally forgot about that 700-gram gold nugget. Uh, so I might be a little bit overestimating myself right now. If we get 1500 though, that's an amazing cleanout for one cleanout. We'll see what happens here, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get a good one here. I mean, this should be good dirt. I mean, I think it should, I don't know, I, I actually forget how good that dirt was in that hole. We'll quickly see these first four buckets are from the planter. Uh, it's a good indication on how clean the dirt is, so... Yeah, let's see here. What do we get for magnetite? A little bit more magnetite, so definitely a, bi a bigger clean than last time. I'm thinking these are probably 130 grams. All right, what are we sitting at? 20, 18 percent, 120. Ooh, it's looking like this is gonna be real good. I'm glad I went there. I was thinking of trying to focus on the mountain, but the mountain's just been annoying after a while. So 183 grams is definitely a better payday than the last one. Oh, I'm excited now, man. It's been been a lot of episodes of dry cleans. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're still earning gold, but it's not as fun when you don't earn a crap load of gold. Hopefully this is the one, man. Man, getting 183 grams in just or duplex jig buckets, or sorry, planter buckets. I'm going to call them duplex jig buckets a lot because that's what I've been calling them this whole uh, season. But uh, yeah, that that's our biggest clean out yet for those. Obviously, it should be. They're better than the duplex jigs, so we should be getting more yields, and we definitely are. We're already at 500 grams of gold. I think the 1500 is well in reach. Kind of bummed we mined out that whole area now, though. We uh, are going to have to either go back to the mountain or there is another place I dug right past the one I currently did. So if we dig through a little bit more of the hill, we should be able to get to that one. And I think that's what I'm going to focus on, trying to get all that dirt that we missed with the excavator because clearly... There's a lot of gold in there, and uh, this is really exciting. So, what is it, 183 once again? Yep, and then this is the final one, I believe. Is there anything? Have I been doing it? I'm clearly not paying attention. I didn't even pour it in. Wait, was that the final? I think that was the final planter one. Now we're into the fun stuff, the big one. So, I didn't even re realize it had poured. It doesn't take long to actually clean out the gold. Uh, but here we go. The big question is how much magnetite is there going to be? Because that's an indication on how good this bucket is. Now, I think that one is probably the top grates. Uh, these ones, I think, are the moss mats. 7,000 is actually not crazy. We'll see how quickly this goes up, though. Just because it doesn't have a lot of magnetite doesn't mean it doesn't have a lot of gold. And it's looking pretty good. It's hard to say. We still got 31%. We're going to pass 1,000. There we go. Goodbye, 1,000. Well, I think... It's safe to say we hit the 1500 at least. This might be, I actually forget what our best pay, gold payday is now because it's been dry so long. 555, five, five. Um, that's not awful. That's definitely not awful at all. So I'm really happy with that. And yeah, it's safe to say if we got 555 in that, we'll get about that in this. And let's watch it rock it up. That means we got the 1500 easily. Oh my God, look at it. We're already at the 1500. Ah, oh, it's nice when you're on the gold, man. It feels so much better than these dry cleanouts because it gets a little depressing. It takes a long time to uh, take off all these mats and everything. And when you don't get a very good payday, it's not very fun. But this one, what are we sitting at? 2,000? How much did we get out of that? 711. And then we got this little guy left with about 30% in it. So we're going to pass the 2,000. So yeah, I was hoping for 1,500. I really can't complain. 
when we get, let's see what it ends with. Are we gonna get 2,100? Oh yeah, totally, holy crap, look at this bucket. This thing only had 33% in it, are you serious? We had added 533 grams with a 33% bucket from the moss mats. Clearly those are some really good moss mats. So yeah, an extra 1,000 grams on what I wanted. I can't complain at all. We did the same amount in this cleanout that we did with two cleanouts at the start of this episode. So uh, that shows you when you're on the go gold, it's a much better experience. All right, but this is what I was talking about. Oh, do we have a breakdown here? Uh, no, I think we're just out of uh, gas. I must have left it on. But yeah, we have this hole here. This was a, a small one I did. Some really good yields. It's probably good yields in this hill here too. So I think we're going to move on to there. And I think also down here, yeah, we have the valleyway from when we were digging way in the back. We had a vein that we followed here. So we're really close to that vein as well. And we can follow this down and pick up any of the uh, stuff we left over down here. Oops, I just fell down. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's lots of dirt here that we can grab, and this is all gold-rich, extremely gold-rich dirt. So yeah, I think uh, we should be able to get that Frankenstein pretty quick if we uh, focus on this gold-rich dirt. And uh, I think that's the goal for the next episode, is to get that so we can go deeper into the claim site and automate everything. Because using the dump truck, don't get me wrong, it's doable, but it's kind of annoying to jump into that every, you know eight or so uh, front end loader worths uh, just to move that to the actual mine site. So yeah, how are we doing for water, by the way? Is this thing still filling? Oh, it is now. This is nice. We're almost at 900,000. I think by the end of the year, we might actually fill this thing. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. Just a gold, a heavy gold mining episode. Uh, these are things I commonly do off recording, but you guys requested that I do more of it on recording. Let me know what you guys think. I always like focusing on the upgrades because I think that's what most people like to see how much the uh, yield's gonna be better when we get better upgrades. Uh, but yeah, some of you guys just like seeing me simply dig as well, so maybe we'll do some more of these if you guys are enjoying them. But yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.